Ferry I'm in a big old water in Berkshire. Now I never intended to fish down here this year at all but uh, plans kind of went awry and other places that I lined up to fish didn't quite look right so that's why I'm down here. Um, it's quite a well known water but I'm not going to name it because it's busy enough already. It's uh, 90 something acres, um, I think it's about 150 fish in here all in all from a, a couple of different mixed stockings and floodings and, and whatever else. Um, but there is some very old special fish in here as well. It's, uh, it's a very mature lake, it's, it's, it's a lovely place to fish, it's, uh, it's fantastic. The trouble with it is it's very, very busy. There's it's bays and islands all over the place. I think there's nearly 30 odd islands and little channels and points and it makes it a fantastic place to fish. I just wish it wasn't so far away from home. Um, but it's not easy, not easy at all. I mean, uh, most big pits I've fished, it's been a case of um, find the fish, do something sensible to them and you'll catch them. But because of all the pressure it gets down here, the fish have seen a trick or two and it's it's not been uh, it's not been working out to plan it. You know, it certainly wasn't in the summer. And the first session that I come down, I ended up fishing this, this tiny little swim really, you know. The furthest chuck was 15 yards, which, which is really strange on a 90 acre pit, but there was fish there. And uh, I can remember as the, as the sun was going down at dusk, um, just standing by the rods and six fish just ghosted right on the rod tips and the front two looked, looked like nice fish as well. So it's uh, certainly got a few nice fish in here. I bet it's eight, nine mile to walk all the way around the bankside, you know, with all the points and uh, all the little bits and pieces. So as you can imagine, you, you do a lap or two and it's quite exhausting. Um, and the fish are quite nomadic as well, so a lot of the time I've been fishing, you know, finding a couple of fish, fishing there for one night. If nothing's happened, you know, I kind of got myself at the door and watched the water. If I've seen nothing by 10 o'clock, started wrapping all the kit down, packed it all down, got it in the car, and then just started walking, walking the, uh, walking the banks. You know, it's um, it's a bit dodgy down here for tackle fest, so you can't really leave any kit unattended. So you've got to make sure it's in the car and somewhere visible, somewhere where people are going to be walking past, so it's, it's nice and safe. So it's, it's a real pain to pack down completely, put it in the car, and sometimes I've ended up setting up on the, on the same swim that I've packed down from. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those sort of waters, and uh, you know, I've, I've, I've certainly got myself a, a little bit fitter by fishing here. You know, I think one session that comes to mind, I fished six or seven different swims. I'd walked 30 odd miles during the session, and I was absolutely exhausted by the time I'd finished, because I'm not all that fit. Um, one day I was fishing down here, I think it was, it was sort of towards the middle of September, as, as I look back now, it's probably one of the last hot days of the year that we've had, and uh, the water skiers were out at half eight in the morning, which I wasn't too pleased about, and there wasn't a breath of wind, the sun had come up, and it was it was quite hot, even, even at that sort of time. <coughs> um, I thought my chance had gone for the day, so I, uh, I wound in one of my rods, um, respawned it with some new line that Cordra had sent me, this prototype tapered uh, subline. Um, and I think it was about half past nine, ten o'clock, the, the boat went back through again. I come whistling through and uh, just in the wash at the side, I thought I saw a carp soon. So I thought that was quite interesting. And uh, wait for the boat to go through again, boat went through. The wash sort of washed into all the islands and a couple of the channels and, and just off one of the runs, again, a, a fish turned in the same sort of area. And it wasn't too far off the bait of the area of the fishing, so I quickly clipped it back up, tied the, the, the leader and the rig back on, same bait as I had on for the previous night and uh, hit it out to the cliff, dog down, and um, it was in there for about half an hour. Uh, the boat come through again, come up past me, started doing its return journey, it just kind of sort of got level with the rods, just about to go through the channel to my right, and I got a few beeps on the rod, and I thought it was the wash from the boat on its, on its um, going out run, um, but then the rod just crippled over and started ripping off, and there's there a fish on the end. A bit of a precarious fight, because the water has come back out again. <laughs> I uh, did another pass and uh, the water skier just missed the um, just missed the line by the yards, you know, I was just a bit nervous about it all. And uh, the fish was determined to stay behind this snag, there's, there's about 30 yards out in this one. He just kept meandering one way, meandering the other, but it wouldn't kind of move off this uh, off this tangent sort of thing. So I literally had to wait, just play it really, really soft with hardly a bend in the rock <clears throat> and just waited for it to kite in one direction. As soon as it did, just drop the tip and just uh, give it some stick past this snag and uh, so relieved to get my first fish of the uh, of the campaign out of the way, and uh, it wasn't the biggest, but it was a nice dark fish, a 21 pounder. Oh. Oh. It's just giving me the soaking, but I'm happy enough. It's my first fish from a new water. 
in fact the first fish from Berkshire altogether. It's really tricky old water, there's 90 odd acres, not too many fish in it and uh, it's always nice to get the first one. After that session I had well, all throughout the year to be honest, I've been struggling to string sessions together because it's because <coughs> it's good old. By the time I've done it, it's, it's probably about nearly 300 miles by the time I've got here. I've got a back row from one car park to another. So it's it's a bit of a trek, and you know, with tutorials and work and all the commitments I've had. If, if I've only had one night or a very quick two, I haven't really bothered coming down here because it's it's just not worth the hassle. So I've been struggling to, to piece things together. Um, but uh, things have started to come right for me now. Now it's October. Um, last session down, I, um, I found a few fish out in out in this uh, swim that I'd never fished before, but uh, got my rods out and uh, I was lucky enough uh, to get a 32. Um, it's, uh, it was a bit camera shy, I didn't want to be held up for the, for the video. Um, but um, yeah, it was, it was nice to get my first 30 from Berkshire. It's probably not the best looking fish in the world. You know, it looked like a kind of one of the ones that got washed in from the uh, <coughs> from the lake next door, but uh, yeah, I was pleased enough to get it. Um, but this session I got another one. It was, um, <coughs> I got a take, I think it was the early hours of the morning. Um, and I weren't sure what it was to start off with because I got it from quite long range. Um, and it, it felt like a bit of a bit of a bream, but then it's all of a sudden it put up a bit of a scrap and uh, went through another line, which caused all sorts of problems. And uh, it took me a good while to get in a bit of a rigmarole because it really went around the other line and the other line snagged up in weed. And you know, I, I had some fun and games, but I eventually managed to net it and it was, uh, it was a good one. Very tough summer. It's finally nice to get in amongst a few fish. I've had a bit of a run of form at the minute. 39 from the Lean Valley, 32 last week, and now 36 12 all from Berkshire. So it's, uh, it's really good to get amongst them, and it's, uh, it's nice I'm starting to catch from this water as well. I just hope it carries on just a bit longer. It's always nice to see them go back safely. Very welcome, 36. To, nice to get a proper lump, you know, it's, it makes all the travelling worthwhile and uh, really pleased. I've still got another two nights left, so hopefully I'll get to get one of the big girls out. So, here's hoping. 